All right, guys, Gemini. Uh, good morning to you. Happy Thursday morning. Back with another uh, video today. And what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to be reviewing uh, the Attitude Era Part Two DVD. I think everyone remembers this from this toy from the Attitude Era. Check this out. Who will it be? Who will it be? Stone Cold Steve. Austin! It's pretty damn epic. So anyways, uh, we're going to be reviewing the Attitude Era uh, two-disc two set, and we'll get to that here in just a second. Uh, as always, uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for checking out my Facebook, uh, Vincent Flair. Uh, thank you for checking out my Twitter, Gemini888. Don't forget about my Ravishing Rick Rude uh, tribute page. I posted some new stuff on there today. Check out WrestlingDVDNews.com. And also check out WWE versus TNA Facebook page, the hottest uh, information source uh, Facebook site going today. You get your information uh, the second it breaks by a man who eats, sleeps, and lives. Uh, his Facebook page, his name is The Wiz, and uh, it's an awesome page, so please check it out. Um, Macho Man Story DVD behind us. Oops, oops, oops. Almost dropped it. Uh, so, figure we get back to business here and talk a little bit about the Attitude Era uh, two disc uh, set DVD. Oh, before we do that, um, new DVD announced, and that's the the Shield is going to be getting a DVD sometime in 2015. The destruction or the evolution of the Shield. Uh, it was that special that ran on the WWE Network. Plus, it's going to have some other goodies on there, and then of course you have. Uh, two DVDs coming out this Tuesday, Slam City and Hell in the Cell, and I, I am all over that, so uh, stay tuned for that. Now, here we go, Attitude Air Volume 2, uh, two disc set, oh my god, it was so freaking good. I had an opportunity to watch this from start to finish, and literally I couldn't stop. The matches were so great, literally, it was a weirdest feeling. When I popped this DVD in, um, it was weird. I felt like it was like 1998 again, and I was so comfortable watching it. It was, it was, it was, it was great. This was a, a must buy. Let me see if I can try to give you some details about it because I watched the whole thing, including all the Blu-ray extras. Okay, well the DVD starts with a bikini contest from the 1997 Slammies, which I have I have somewhere over here. Oh, I see it, okay, look. Yep, I hope oh, my fly's not undone. <laughs> 97 Slammies, it's gonna be really hard to see, but this is 97 Slammies, so I recorded that on USA Network when I happened. And uh, Sonny and Sable just come out there and they just uh, floor you. That was a cool bikini contest. Um, Owen Hart and Shawn Michaels, that was really cool. Uh, Owen Hart was really bitter at the time because Bret Hart had just uh, left the WWF. Okay, Badass Dad. That's the part where Billy Gunn talks about kicking a guy's ass in the mall. New Age Outlaws first Cactus Jack and Chainsaw Charlie. That was crazy. The New Age Outlaws were, this was January 98, so they were just getting ready to uh, do the DX thing. Royal Rumble 98, Ken Shamrock and The Rock. That was a cool uh, finish. The, the Rock put the Nux in Shamrock's tights, and the ref thought that Shamrock cheated, and he disqualified Shamrock, and the, the Rock really cheated in that match. I was actually at that match. It was in San Jose at the Royal Rumble. Okay, Austin and McMahon was the next match, and uh, that was the first time that McMahon and Austin ever got into it, and you know, McMahon with the one arm tied behind his back stuff, and Patterson and Briscoe were trading him and stuff. Uh, leather... And chains. It's been a, it's been a month or so, so I don't remember everything that happened on this DVD. You know what? I don't want to read every match. I, I think reading every match is boring. You know, I do, and I I am not the master reviewer, so we'll go a different direction on this video, so I don't bore you guys to death. Um, I will just say, Attitude Era Volume Two had uh, so many matches. And uh, it, it had the Val Bosky pee, pee thing, you know, where Val Venus was going to get his dick chopped off by Kai and Tai. It had tons of sexy girls. 
It had interviews with The Godfather. It had, uh, you know, interviews with uh, the New Age Outlaws. Uh, it talks about how um, Kama, you know, uh, Papa Shango, you know, didn't like uh, Ice T at all. He wasn't a, or Ice hi, Ice T, Ice Cube. He didn't like Ice Cube at all. But Coco is cool. She can come. Um, let's see what else. Uh, yeah, it was a big deal with Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> Here's the, uh, has a match where Triple H and Mr. McMahon fought, and Mr. McMahon won the belt and did the deep blade job. Had a lot of APA stuff when they were back in the day, and they were fighting in, you know, the bar and stuff. That was, that was cool to see APA, and actually they talk about, the APA actually talks about how they did some legit fighting. Some guys would start crap with them, and then they would have to really legit beat the crap out of them. So, a lot of Kurt Angle. A lot of Chris Jericho, and it does have the gross, grossest match I've ever seen. Gerald Briscoe and Pat Patterson, the King of the Ring match, where they both dressed in drag. And, you know, I think it was Gerald Briscoe, and he had the foam padding in his bra, and it went flying everywhere. Oh, I got something else good for you on here, too. The fully loaded uh, bikini contest was uh, Hot Ass Sable versus Hot Ass Jackie. And I remember watching that, and I was thinking, my God, who would I rather get in the sack with, Jackie or Sable? <laughs> I had to vote both, because they were just, they were both just looking hot as shit. I mean, Jackie was, and Sable, same thing with both, just gorgeous, gorgeous women. And it was cool to see that bikini contest. Um, I, I mean, really, Stone Cold and Rock, you know, Golga versus Mark Merrow, that was a, not a very good match, but we'll wish Mark Merrill well because he has to have heart surgery. But I didn't like seeing Golga as Earthquake. You know, I always liked his Earthquake gimmick, but I didn't like Golga, how they put him under a mask. I mean, it was like, come on, it was like so obvious. Everybody knew that was John Tenta. Oh, Undertaker attends his parents' funeral. That was a little far, you know, how uh, they destroyed his mother's dead casket and stuff. That was a little far, but that's what the Attitude Era was about, and that's what this DVD was about, was like, pushing the envelope, and they, they pushed it. It has that one match, too, with Kurt Angle and The Rock and Trish and Triple H, where uh, Trish and Triple H wind up doing the 69 at the end. Uh, weak stomach, that's the part where Gerald Briscoe, you know, it gags easily and throws up really easy, so all the people backstage tease him. It's got some stuff with Mark Henry doing his uh, counseling, you know, and he's... He's getting a uh, sex therapy treatment by these hot ass like psychiatrists, and he's trying to hit on a psychiatrist and touch their legs and stuff. It was weird but funny at the same time. I actually didn't remember that until I went back and uh, watched this. Uh, it's just a lot of good wrestling action. One thing that's cool too is like the matches are all kind of short, so it won't take you a long time to get through this entire DVD. It took me like. Oh, two days or so to get through it. So maybe three days. So uh, Pippin' Eight Country. That's funny. That's more Godfather stuff. So uh, all in all, one thousand percent jam approved. The Wiz Bailey. Um, you'll love it. You guys have fun. Uh, if you need a good DVD for Christmas or something, then I would recommend the Attitude Era uh, two disc set. I know you guys will have fun watching this. Like I said, I watched it for two days straight. I was completely comfortable. Felt like it was 1998 again, so I give it a big thumbs up. I'm sorry if this wasn't the best review. You know, reviews are hard because you don't want to be like so boring where you just read the matches and read the disc, but I can just tell you from watching this inside and out, I loved it. So you guys have a great day. I'm Gemini. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.